so i want to show you guys how you can cut a street skirt a very simple street skirt in very easy way okay so if you're using a material that's up to 60 by 60 or something all you just need to do is just fold it into two okay assuming you're sewing for an average measurement like the one you see on the screen right now you can see the hip is 44 okay that's an average measurement all right from 46 downward to like 38 it's an average measurement all right so now you see the whole complete measurement right there now you have folded the material into two like it's 60 by 60 and now you folded it into two what you need to do right now is you're gonna create a line here okay you're gonna create a boundary right here and between here and here is the zip allowance okay so this line kind of like coming straight all right so you're going to refold this side again all right so when you refold this side now which means this edge is going to be the front of the skirt so you place that edge on this zip line okay then you arrange the material well all right so when you want to start right now we start from the waist first okay or we can just equally make measure the uh skirt length first okay the length there you see is 33 all right so it's 33 actually the length is 31 but this 33 here is just a folding allowance for the skirt so you bring your tape back you turn it the other way around the waist here is 32 so you're gonna put it at 33 why because you're gonna need that one inches to create your that line okay there will be a flat that on it so you mark it at 33 all right that's waistline for you then you turn the tape again all right if you're sewing normal english skirts you don't need to extend the tape out for waistband if you want it to be bandless you can just put the tape straight right on the waist area and mark the hip line all right let's say 10 inches for um average measurement of this this is actually like a three quarter so we have this 10 inches right here now on the hip you turn the tape again and mark the hip okay the hip is actually 44 but we're taking it to 42 why are we reducing the 44 why are we reducing two inches from it i'm going to explain to you this whole thing is all very easy so the 42 right now is 10 and a half okay that is 10 and a half times four places that is um 42 all round okay so you mark the hip line there all right so let's come to the um downside of it all right it's going to be actually a kind of a pencil skirt so you can make that side 16 all right so if you're using the same measurement i have right now to 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 cut yours you can just equally now use this whole measurement the same way i'm doing it to cut it so from here right now you bring the hip as you're bringing it in when you get to this place you push your hand in a little bit because someone with this kind of measurement will actually have a real good shape to be um using um under waist 32 and hip 44 okay that means the person has a very good shape so then from this um, wideness of the knee here you take it straight back to the hip okay if you don't know how to do that you can use ruler to mark it there's no problem so when you're done right now all you need to do is to add the sewing allowance okay the sewing allowance for at least two inches or one and a half all right so this is what we got right now we're going to cut out this whole shape first before we now focus on this particular side how to add this slit and how to create a butt puff around here and I'll explain to you the two inches that you reduce from this place how you're going to bring it to the back of this skirt so that the hip area will not um, have contour or something all right let's go okay so we're done right now and you know since this is a three quarter the first thing you need to know is that the slit is going to be you know very long and even if it is not three quarter even if it's very short skirt the slit has to be really open that it will be above the person knee. all 
okay so that it will give the person the freedom to walk freely since the skirt is actually kind of a pencil skirt okay so let's just assume now this is the person's knee so i would like to extend the um, slit up to this side okay so we first of all mark that slit line okay this is a slit line right now now you can see this is the hip line you take the hip line straight down to where the zip is so now from here okay you're going to start bringing the line straight as you're coming down you begin to shift your hand out okay for this place to be wider than here and here okay so now this is what we're trying to do right now okay okay if you see right now this place this hip area is wider than up here and here so this is where the person um butt really need to fix in okay the person butt really need to fix in here that's the reason why we reduce that two inches from here so which means the two inches we have reduced from here is definitely coming here right now because when we want to do our sewing when you want to do your sewing process all right assuming we have cut this place out right now so this is what we're talking about right now so if you want to actually mark if you want to sew right now the place that your machine really need to sew is this line that's coming when you get to this place you also bend your hand out okay so and you also end the sewing around here you can see the sewing line right now okay so when you want to fix the zip the zip will maybe end around here okay if the zip ends around here this place is just a normal butt puff okay so by only then when you added that two inches okay the two inches you deduct from here instead of 44 you make it 42 you're going to bring that two inches here okay if you bring the two inches here then the hip will not puff out too much all right so when you actually see someone wearing a skirt someone who has a real figure eight shape wearing a skirt or a gown and it's perfect on the body this is how they do it okay if you if you refuse to bring this out and you make it straight and you end up using the person exact measurement to do the hip you find out by the time they wear it there will be something you know kind of puff out around the hip area and a lot of people don't like that no matter how much you amend that thing it will never balance okay so this is the reason why we do things like this and anytime i want to put up a lecture i just like to simplify a simple thing like this without going into anything too further too serious and i just round it up okay so this is the front right now this is like the whole front and this is the back all right this is the back and this is the other back of the skirt 